What's up, YouTube land? Sorry it took us a little, little bit longer to get what we need, need to do, but we're finally back on. Back on. Team Dragon Lords here. Had some epic pulls earlier this evening. Of Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which was awesome. Yes. And plenty of surprises after. Don't want to spoil too much of the fun. And my, uh, my brother surprised me with... Yeah. This. Yeah. Which I am very thankful for. Oh, yeah. I mean, to not only pull one, but two in the same night. He's my lucky rabbit foot. <laughs> I am the lucky rabbit's foot, apparently. Time for a classic Yugi versus Kaiba match. Oh yeah. <laughs> he is now dropping cards. Everyone, free for all. Just kidding. As I say, let the furries hit the floor. <laughs> It's a type of saying I'm that's stuck in my head that I came up with because I'm watching Agumon Digivolve to uh, Greymon. Right. And he's having his head doing this, his eyes closed, and I'm going, yeah. let the furries hit the floor. Let the furries hit the floor. Oh, right. <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but it's true. Hey, at least it's funny. And just letting you guys know, this is actually the first duel of the night. Oh, yeah. It's funny. Because it's almost, it's like at exactly 11 o'clock at night, and we're finally having our first match of the night. Not too many matches. As, well, soon, I'll eventually get so dang tired, I won't be able to stay up anymore. <laughs> but as long as I got Mountain Dew in my system... I can keep going for however long I want to because I don't have to work till Monday. Thank God. That helps out by so much. Like, you guys have no idea how crazy work gets, gets to me. Although, with this upcoming week, it's gonna be savage. Because I have to work six days in a row. Two of those days are late night shifts. Are late shifts. Oh, this day, I'm here to rumble. True. Rumble in the jungle. Alrighty. Oh. Would you want to use this big Pokemon coin for heads and tails? Or do you want to use the dice? Let's use dice. Roll. A five. Five? All right. <laughs> That's a tie. Two. Two? What, seriously? <laughs> oh, wow. Two. Four. Four. All right. <laughs> All right I'll take the first turn. Very well. <laughs> Oh, damn. I'll just set a monster and end my turn. That's all I can do. I'll also summon a monster and face down defense. Lastly, I'll throw down a face down. It's your turn. I'll play the continuous spell, Dark Magical Circle. Check the top three of cards of my deck. Hmm. 
this to my hand, Magician's Rod, and then place these two just like that on the top. I'm gonna summon Magician's Rod, use its effect for adding a spell or trap that specifically lists Dark Magician. Will be dark magic curtain. Magician's Rod will attack your face down monster. Ooh, you instantly destroyed my ancient lamp. Alright. That's all I can do, so I'll end my turn. Hmm. I now summon Assault Wyvern. Assault Wyvern will attack Magician's Rod. You take 200 points of damage. All right. And since Assault Wyvern successfully destroyed a monster in battle, by sacrificing him, I get to bring out Blue Eyes White Dragon to the field. Your move. I thought I got to, got to bring out my one of my strongest monsters already. Funny how that works out. I will end my turn. Huh? Yep. Sounds like. Yeah, I'm gonna end my turn by playing one card face down. Here goes. I'll end my turn by not playing any cards. Right. And or attacking. Well, I didn't fall for my bluff, so Dark Magic Curtain, so I'll pay half my life points, especially summon Dark Magician from my extra deck. Or main deck. <laughs> then Dark Magic Curtain's effect activates, which will allow me to banish one card on the field. I choose your face down. You removed my negate attack from play. Hmm. Let's see. Next, I will play the spell Secrets of Dark Magic. Use the Dark Magician with Dark Magic. Um, with my chocolate magician girl. Fusion summon the dark magicians. Hmm. Now I'll set this card face down and end my turn. Yes! Alright, dude. Hmm. I think it's about time I bring out my ultimate strategy. First, I summon Fallen of Albaz. Now, by discarding a card, I fuse Fallen of Albaz with the Dark Magicians. I activate. 
Eternal Souls. Hmm. Which brings back Dark Magician. Dark Magical Circles effect activates. Chain effect for Dark Magicians will allow me to draw one card. Uh, Dark Magical Circles effect activates, which will banish Fallen of Albaz. No! Darn it! Urgh. Darn. Ugh. All right, blue eyes. Attack his dark magician. So I take 500. Lastly, actually, I'll save that card. Your move. I draw. Darn. Eternal Souls effect activates again. Chain effect. Nice draw. <laughs> Another Dark Magician. <sighs> so much for my Albaz. Oh well. I'm gonna set this monster face down. And play... Tamias! <sighs> so... Fusion Summon. Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon. Oh boy. Hmm. I'll place this card face down on the field and ending my turn. Blue Eyes White Dragon will attack the Dark Magicians. White Lightning. Okay. Um, <clears throat> 200 more points. You take 200 points of damage. When this, if this card is destroyed, I can switch some both one Dark Magician and one Dark Magician girl from my hand, deck, and or graveyard. Nice. So I'm bringing back the Dark Magician from the graveyard and special summon Dark Magician Girl from the deck. Nice. Ba -da -da. Hmm. But and now... Also the effect of Dark Magical Circles effect activates when Dark Magician is special summoned. I uh, can banish one card on the field, but I'm not going to do that. Hmm. Now I activate my King of the Swamps effect from my hand. By discarding him, I can add a polymerization from the deck to my hand. Next, I play my pot of di, di, my dichotomy, Tomy. With this spell, I can take three monsters of different names from my graveyard, add them back to my deck, reshuffle, and then I get to draw two new cards. Nice. Unfortunately, I won't be able to to, to conduct my battle phase this turn. That's the only thing that's gonna suck about it. Draw. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. Now I bring out the Tuner Monster, the White Stone of Ancients. Now I tune. Now I Synchro Summon. My Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier. 
And now for his ability, time to start banishing. So the card I'll be banishing from your field will be the Red Eyes Dark Dark Dragoon. I will activate its effects due to its quick effect by discarding one card. It can negate your monster's effect and it gains 1,000 attack points. Mm. Oh well. Now, Trishula, attack his Dark Magician Girl. Lastly, I'll place one card fa face down. And since it's about to become my end phase, since my White Stone of Ancients is, is in my graveyard, I can now special summon a Blue Eyes from my deck. A new Blue Eyes comes of age. And with that, I'm going to end my turn. And I draw. Since I control Dark Magician, I'm going to play this, the Dark Magic Attack spell. Hmm. You destroy cloning. Next, I'm flip summoning Magician of Faith. Hmm. Which allows me to bring back any spell for my graveyard. Tamias. Hmm. Then I'm going to use Eternal Souls to special summon the Dark Magician in my hand. Then use Dark Magical Circle's effect to banish the blue eyes. Darn it! <laughs> and then play Tamias. Mm. So those Fusion Summon. <laughs> Amulet Dragon. And I activate Amulet Dragon's ability to banish all spell cards that's in the graveyard, and it gains 100 attack for each one. Your dragon only gains two from mine. Three, four, five, six hundred points. That's so, a total of 800. So 3,700 attack. Shoot. <laughs> and just to be on safe measures, I'm playing Swords of Revealing Light. Huh. And my amulet dragon will attack. I take a thousand points of damage. Yep. Hmm. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon will attack you for 4,000, and I'm going to end my turn. <laughs> Been a good game so far. I play Silent Doom. My last blue eyes. With that, I end my turn. I'm now down to a measly 4,000. Yeah, 4,000 points already. I draw. <laughs> the perfect ending is here. First, Eternal Soul's effect resurrects the Dark Magician again. Also, 
dark magical circle. Next, secrets of dark magic. Uh oh. I'm gonna fuse the dark magician with Gaia, the fierce knight. <laughs> the fusion summon dark magician, the knight of dragon magic. Dang. I'm going to attack with 3,700 for an amulet dragon. Well, that's almost game. I'm down to 200 life points. And what's this guy doing do again? Okay. And my other dragon will attack for 29. Dang, I lost. This was my hand. I had no cards in my hand. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, fair. I was hoping you would go for that. I <laughs> knew Marshmallow was on the field. <laughs> I no. knew it. And my last resort was Magician's Navigation. <laughs> I knew that Marshmallow was on the field. I was prepared for that. 